G'day everyone, James here with JWN Lawn Care and Landscaping bringing you another video. We're back again. Hello. It is sort of sunny. Well, it was sunny. It's now a bit more cloudy, but blue skies, eh? Um, it's the second of October today, uh, so we're into October now. Um, it is. Oh, it's like seven days until my birthday now. I'm only doing general maths, so. I mean, it's probably wrong, but something around that, right? A week till my birthday. Woo! Um, and I am walking to a shop. Hopefully, please excuse the wind noise. It is pretty windy today. It's getting into spring for us now, uh, so it's starting to warm up. And it's actually been quite surprising because um, winter's kind of been pretty shit house for us, honestly, I have to say. Uh, just, you know, always rainy, always bad weather but yeah no it's it's warming up now like, I'm I'm getting hot just in you know shorts and a t-shirt bloody hell um, so I've been down at Moorabbin Airport today where I do my flying training I'm um, doing some study for my exam but I have uh, we have practice exams sorry I've like been using a rod on here yeah. Oh, I haven't even cut half of you. Quite a good job, eh? Um, but so I've got a day off from exams today, so I came down here. And I thought, you know what? It's a bloody long walk. But, ooh. BR600. Hello. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd just um, yeah, come down here, see what they have, say hello to a few people. Here we are. Guess what it is? Kings to Mars. So I'm doing it. Wow. These guys have got quite the operation going on in here. This is what we call body corporate properties in here. They've got groups of like houses and stuff. That's quite good. There's, there's quite a That's it. Yeah. So we're going to go in here. We're going to say hello to a few chats. Maybe do something fun, eh? These guys. This is Nick. Say hello, Nick. Hey. This is Nick. So he he runs this place. So what we've got in here, we got all sorts. This is massive. Um, so we got they sell Big Dog, they sell Echo, they sell Shindaiwa, they sell Still. They all oh, that's something over there you can't see. They sell Chippers, they sell Hondas, oops, and they sell Mass Sports and a few Victors. No, no Mass, no Mass Sports here. Sorry, Victors. They've got a lot of different brands here and Asom as well. I'm very interested, guys, in um, one of these. How much are these again? These are like uh, two grand. Twenty-three hundred. Okay. Oh, they got some pressure off. Quite interesting. These. Twenty-three ninety-nine or twenty-seven ninety-nine for the Honda one. This. This is a big dog. I think this is the Alpha. Not the Alpha, but the yeah, the C one forty-two. So all these are basically modelled off Hustler, and they've got the Stout over there, which is basically like your um, fast track series. These are quite good little models. I'm very interested in one of those Stouts. Um, so these guys have got me doing a bunch of promo stuff. They've got some Bush Ranger cylinders as well. Off them. I'm interested in one of these at the farm. Let me know if you have one of those. Um, they have a very special bit of equipment which I've done a promotional video on for them, uh, which I can't show you in today's video because I'm still making it. Uh, they also have the electric stuff here. So yeah, no, you can't, I can't let you see the special thing they have there. Um, but, here's the story, okay. Today, I don't know, I just felt randomly, I was like, fuck it, I want to buy a lawnmower. And so that's what we're doing, right? And so this is just out here as well, it's quite cool. Um, I like these comfy seats they have. You know, that's, that's thick. <laughs> this is a 48 inch, yeah, 48. So they do have, um, in Australia guys, we basically 
the new Echo is pretty much non-existent. They don't, they're not really bringing them in. So we've only really got the old Echoes and the new Shin Daiwas. I'm quite interested in like this. That looks pretty cool. I think T262, I think that's the Shin Daiwa equivalent of the Echo 2620, is it? Maybe, tell me what you think. But 679 bucks, that's, yeah. Um, they've got the EB770, which is the same as the PB770. Um, quite like that. It's, yeah, it's all Echo copies. I do like this. I've never really been a massive Echo fan, but I like the waist of this. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but that's light as. CS280, 649. It's tempting. Especially compared to this one. Yeah. yeah. So, I think we're going to get a one more. Hey. Um, yeah, why not? How much do they have? They don't tell me. DH230. I do like that's a long ass bar, man. I like that, but 800. Er. Mm, yeah, so that's this place. It's really cool. I actually took one of my mates down here last time and kind of got him hooked on lawnmowers too. He's <laughs> in on this. He's like, oh yeah, it's not bad. I like this. Um, yeah, so off you go. Um, we'll see if we can get this machine. Nick, what have I done? <laughs> what have I done? Yeah. Like a with hey, they got busy. It. Yeah, these guys are busy as. Right. Yeah. Right, we're getting it ready. <laughs> That's official. I'm batshit crazy. So, she's all filled up and serviced and everything, ready to go. Um, actually, take it out. Start it up so you guys can see. Cause did I really need this? No, but look at me. I am fast. I need to lose weight. So, let's show you guys. Okay, ready? This is the second start. Alright, so, hopefully it doesn't need choke. Right, there we go. Nice and quiet, really. Uh, it's got the mulch plug. It's got the deck wash port. Height adjuster. This is the older model. Now, by older model, a lot of people probably think the D series, the 196D and such, but this is now also been superseded by the newer models without the snorkel and the old style catcher again, but they've still got the brakes. Um, you can still get them with engine and blade brakes. Uh, yeah. So I'll show you. This is standard factory res. This one's a lot better. My one was running it like that um, when I bought it. Um, so this one's factory set better, but still, you know. There you go, so that sounds a lot better, right? Um, that's what it's supposed to be. Now it's actually a good idea, you can hear that turns off really quick, the blade, when you release that handle, as it's supposed to. So I've actually, you probably have seen me in my videos when I engage my blades, I slow the engine down a bit. Yeah, I slow it up. And I do that on my ride on as well. When I turn off the blade, I actually slow it all the way down to idle and then release it because it, it, it wears the clutch a lot less. One of my friend's Honda 197s he's got with the engine brake, um, I think they've been turning it off at full power because the, when you now shut it off, the blades take a good four or five seconds to stop turning because they've worn the clutch out so much. Um, so it's just that sort of thing. You can't easily engage it. Oh no, there you go. So, you know, it can go on. But you hear that's, that's a lot less drain on the engine than doing it, you know, higher throttle settings. Um, some people, they like to say, um, you know, they engage their clutch at full power because uh, it keeps the tension on the belts on their zero turns and stuff, which is true. You do need to maintain your belt tension um, because otherwise that causes its own set of problems. Yes, see, this is the new, these are the new style 196. Actually, that's the new style um, HRU19. That's the new 196. That's a new 196. And that's a new 216. And these are the GCV, these are the new engines. That's the GCV 200. So quite good. Um, but yeah, so you do need to maintain that tension, that's correct. But you also want to, I mean, I've found half to three quarter throttle is about the sweet spot, especially for ride-ons. Um, for engaging your blades, that keeps your belt tension up. Um, but it also, uh, it, it doesn't 
um, put too much strain on the clutch and the belt itself because otherwise you know, you've got your engine spinning this fast and then your belt is trying to go, especially with electric clutches, straight in and start spinning that fast as well. It, it just it puts too much strain on it. So if you bring the throttle down a bit and then you're spinning it that fast, it doesn't have as much ground to pick up um, from going zero to 2,000 RPM or whatever, um, V600, right? So yeah, there's a new baby. Okay, now we need a name though. Send me, put me, in, drop me a uh, name suggestion in the comments below, right? What do you think I should name this? Um, a few people have said don't buy this machine um, because the chute's really small and it's true, it is really small on this. Um, but the thing is guys, with where I'm mowing, a lot of my properties, they're really, really dusty. So this has saved, I've found my 216 with the snorkel has done really well because it's able to suck in air up higher rather than all the dust just going around down here. It's a lot better for it. Um, and I, the, the fact that the chute's smaller doesn't really bother me because I, I only catch about one or two properties out of 40 yeah, so like, and um, you know, for, for me, um, I, I would catch none of those properties with this probably. This might be used to catch like one, maybe. So it's really not going to make a difference. All I want it to do is mulch and have the snorkel. And therefore, out of this machine or this machine, this one's a teensy bit lighter. Um, it's got the old style catcher that has no snorkel. So I just, I went with this because the Nick here did me a really good deal on this as well. He was really nice. Um, so I got quite a good price. So it was worth it, right? Early birthday present. Um, so yeah, that's that. And this is their shop. So I got Honda all over here. Victor there, more Honda, atom edges, generators, pressure washers, concrete saws, compactors, ride-ons, zero turns, still, 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 bloody big dog, Victor and um, Craftsman I think, um, Billy Goat, Great Bull, these are great chippers, um, yeah, really nice store, really nice people, that's that. Have a good one, chaps. I'm going to leave that video here. See you in the next one. Tell me your thoughts and, uh, yeah, have a good night.